What diversity means to me is more than a tolerance, a real embrace of all kinds of differences. Gender, race, ethnicity, surrounded within a community. I was like, oh, this is Rachel. And yeah, she's a little weird sometimes, but she's a really Thanks, cool man. person. We want to be leaders in the realm of inclusivity understanding. Inclusivity is about Friend Central feeling like it's everybody's home. You know, everyone has a place here and has a voice here. As a piece of Vision 2020, I guess there were several task forces that were sort of collected, and the Engage Community Task Force was one of them. We had a diversity statement, but it became clear through listening to the parents and alum and students that we needed to shed greater light on the diversity work that was being done and lift it up in a way that it hadn't been done before. So spent about a year crafting a new diversity statement, which we feel really good about. There were parents involved, administrators, teachers, people from admissions, athletics. Here we are working on a statement of inclusivity, and all members of the community were involved in helping to construct it. For our students to buy into the new diversity statement, they have to actually see that we, we are practicing what's written on that document. Right from the top, Craig has been very, very clear that he wanted this to be a priority and he wanted sort of all hands on deck. What we saw in the diversity committee was an opportunity to think from the balcony and not just have the lower school working on diversity in education or the upper school, but one board, K through 12, determined to lead in how we think about diversity. So I'm gonna turn things over to Rachel and Nate and they will be instructing you today. He's talking about racial equality here, but there are other types of equality. And so we have this problem in that Atticus, he is a center of equality in Maycomb. Is he really showing that everyone is equal? We stand on the, the shoulders of those individuals that come before us. That's a gift that I think this year's seniors are leaving behind, but the expectation is that the classes below won't rest on that. I was always able to speak my opinion, and I always like to speak my opinion, but <laughs> I, changed. I changed in the sense where I know more about other people, so I like to stand up for people if something bad is happening. What topic that we talked about earlier today in one of the sessions? Content, content. content versus context, yes. The teachers are into it. They, they're always willing to listen, to have a conversation. The students are exactly the same. Well, how do you feel? And then being able to return the statement and say, oh, well, how do you feel about it? It says a lot about the students and the teachers all here. About stripping down all those labels and imagining ourselves just being ourselves. In our DNA as a Quaker school, we believe that everyone has value. And if you come at students like that, you're gonna end up with a really great understanding of diversity because it's built into your mission right from the beginning. And the kids are embodying the new norms and there's a part of what the adults have to do, I think, which is to get out of the way. Culture can define what gender is for specific people. I'm a straight, white, male, from a pretty well-off family, that might make you think that I wouldn't want to get involved and that I wouldn't want to do anything because it doesn't apply to me. But then, I guess, a sort of a sense of this is bigger than me. The Gay Straight Alliance, the name itself, implies that I'm valued there. More people getting involved that are like me is really important. The more that you can have diverse perspectives in the room where kids can listen, the more they're actually going to say, you know, well, when I think about somebody who might fit into this category, I'm really thinking about my friend sitting next to me. And so it changes the way we all can be in the world. Change is something that takes a tremendous amount of time and uh, a tremendous amount of patience. It's a journey that you'll never fulfill. And I have to be okay with that. What I can't be okay with is the fact that I'm ever gonna stop trying to learn about the perspectives of others. Uh, because that's what makes us a healthy community. I think we recognize that this is, this is ongoing work and our understanding has grown through time. We have hung a North Star. That's the direction. We might not get there tomorrow, but that North Star is there for everyone to see. That's where we are, folks. That's where we're going. Please join us.